Kayla, please like and subscribe. <laughs> Did you? I don't know. What? What? Oh, what happened? I don't know. I've been I trying think, to figure that out all day long. My guess is Greg like, is like, I don't know, out of it. He needs a nap, I think. I think Greg maybe. needs a nap. Maybe. You, you think sometimes we, maybe we're in different timelines and we remember things differently? Oh, okay. So you weren't really dumb. Maybe in a different <laughs> timeline. Did you, okay, so did you actually end up telling everybody what the shoe size was? Yes. Uh, 16. You did I really tell? I didn't hear you. Yeah. Um, oh, I remember it being eighteen. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I I could I don't remember uh, you. Okay. Yeah, I know that's the, that's the problem there. today. I don't remember. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is falling into place perfectly for you, Greg. Yes. Been setting it up all along, oh, or have I? Gosh. I don't. All right. So, so I don't do remember, you, Greg. I don't know. So. <laughs> So, do you think that it's possible that hmm. we cross timelines or history changes? Because you've heard of the Mandela effect, right? I think mm -hmm. maybe I've yeah. talked about it before, but I don't think I've ever highlighted it. Where people remember things in the past differently than other people do. Like half the population remembers something one way and half the population remembers it another way. Hmm. Ever heard of that? Yes, but there's a, I have to say, is it, so let's say we were all there for the event. Do they all have a, the same remembrance or is it because people are learning differently, say 10 years later about that event? I don't know. This no, is a, people, people swear by like some of the things like the Monopoly guy having a monocle or not having a monocle or the Bernstein bears or Berenstein bears. Or the fruit of the loom uh, thing with not the basket. Cornucopia. Cornucopia. He was wearing a headband and he didn't wear a headband. Yeah. Yep. Yep. He didn't wear a headband. Like, who? Headband. Who? Richard Simmons. Uh, or Simmons. Yeah, and, Richard and then, Simmons. Yeah. yeah, Shazam. He didn't wear a headband. They no, said he, he never didn't. wore a headband. Mm -mm. Look it up. See? He did not Somebody's wear a headband. He's changing history. That's bull. Right. I swear. I, can I see swear. that dude dancing to the yeah. oldies wearing a headband. Yeah, he totally was, he but he's not. I went back and looked at videos. He is not wearing a headband. Uh, Greg, do you have a video for this? I do have a video, uh, but I think Matt, the video I think I'm Matt is on, uh, maybe it's a popular one. He's okay. seen it on TikTok. Okay. Uh, I think Matt Matt said, damn CERN. So I think CERN might have something to do with it. Uh, we'll see. Okay. Here are some Mandela effects that you probably don't remember. So many people remember Jackie Robinson as breaking the MLB color barrier, but it was actually William White in 1879 who was the first black baseball player. However, he was a closeted black man, and the first openly black baseball player was Moses Walker in 1883. Quick, how many people were in the car when JFK was shot? Not three, not four, not five, but six people. It was a modified car with three rows for his wife, two Secret Service agents, and the Texas governor and his wife. You probably remember Shaggy as having a protruding Adam's apple, but he doesn't actually have one at all. The Raisin Bran son has glasses, right? Wrong, he doesn't actually have any glasses. Many people remember the Mona Lisa to be fairly stoic in expression with a slight smirk on her face. She actually sports a pretty noticeable smile. Popular to contrary belief, this isn't the Starbucks logo because she actually has a star where the tip of the crown supposedly is. And lastly, you see this every day, but what's the correct order for a traffic light? If you said green on top, you'd be wrong. Pretty cool, right? 14 Mandela effects that make you doubt the past. Alexander Hamilton never served as the president of the United States. He was actually the first secretary of the treasury. Disney's Mickey Mouse character has a tail. Curious George has never had a tail. Some people remember different numbers of rings around the bullseye in the Target logo. But the one on the left is the correct one. The Berenstain Bears are actually called the Berenstain Bears. The Raisin Bran Sun doesn't wear sunglasses. There's no hyphen in the name of Kit Kat chocolate bars. In I Love Lucy, Ricky never actually said, Lucy, you got some splaining to do. Shaggy from Scooby-Doo doesn't have a prominent <laughs> Adam's apple. The song from Greece 
is actually greased lightning, not grease lightning. Jiffy peanut butter doesn't exist. It's cheese it, not cheese it's. It's Captain Crunch, not Captain Crunch. Those onion ring snacks are called funyuns, not funions. Which of these facts shocked you? All of them. Hmm. Hmm. No, the grease one. The grease one did not because I know me either. Absolutely favorite movie of all time. Whoever yeah. thought Funyuns was said that way? Funyuns? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't remember yeah. Funyuns being with a Y. No. Right? And that guy's voice is annoying. His uh, voice is well, kind the of AI annoying. voice? <laughs> yes. Wait, so does Mickey have a tail? In I don't know. In my mind, I don't see a tail. I don't either. Some of those things I never paid attention to, so it he didn't does. matter. That's yeah, but favorite. Hmm. And we're saying that they never changed the logo of Target. Like it's always been that way. Is that what they're saying? Like these brands have never changed their logos. The raisin well, brand one, I was a little skeptical about because it looks like the when he was like he didn't wear glasses, and then they showed a new one. Looked like a really new it technology. It looked like, like a super new. Yeah, we just yeah. created yeah. this. Like that one, I'm a little mm, about. So you well, think I it's a psyop, and they're just messing with us? Well, I, I saw a video. No, I should have yeah. sent it to you, Greg. But they said mm -hmm. in uh, 1988 is when they started the Mandela effect. Like it's a government study, and they've changed things like this to see how they can control us in different ways. Huh. So I'll, I'll try to find that video again and send it to you. So did but you just, said anyone just, that was born before 88 will remember like the uh, cornucopia and fruit of looms and things like that, because that's the year that they started switching the logos and trying to mess with our minds. So they well, got all the people on those companies in on it, huh? Yeah. Hmm. Well, at Probably. some point too, if, I mean, 88 was a long time ago, right? So at some point, you've got a whole generation of people that weren't alive when it actually was. So if all they've ever seen on the internet was the brands changed, then that would explain it. But here's my question. What's the point? Like, why, why would you spend so much time and effort to change it to make people think they're idiots for hey, remembering things wrong? To control them? I, don't know. I see this two ways. I, I don't know. Either it is true. There is, we are in different timelines and something with CERN or somebody outside of our government or that's in control of the world is trying to control us all. And a lot of things are, we don't know what's real and what's not. You know what I mean? True. If that's the case, what else have they tampered with? You think something's right, but maybe it's just because you've been programmed to think that. Or <laughs> something has shifted like in a, multi-universe or parallel universe. I don't know. When did common uh, sense go away? 88. <laughs> I feel like it was around sometime around that time frame. 1947. But seriously, I mean, common sense in itself, if you just think about the way things have changed, I don't see much common sense out there anymore. It's weird. Like people don't have, like we talked about before, the problem solving skills that they used to have. But they and don't have to. I, well, I agree with that, but common sense is a little different, right? Like it's at some point you just know. They used to be in the hotel business, and I used to be actually very successful at managing hotels. And they would ask me to train other general managers on how to manage hotels. And I couldn't do it because I told them it's common sense treat people the way that you would want to be treated in that same situation, be there for your employees, all these simple little things. It wasn't some great experiment that we were doing. And I think sometimes with these Mandela effects and these weird things that we see, not all of them, Greg, but so many things we see on the internet, some of it is just because people are easily fooled and they don't, I don't feel like they were, they've always been able to be easily fooled. At least I'm talking mass there's always been people out there that you could easily fool, gullible people. But it just seems like the masses are easily, more easily fooled than they used to be. I don't know how to explain it really, but. I know what you're saying. Yeah. Where are you going with that? So what do you think, Greg? What do you think about the Mandela effect? 
Mm, I don't. I. It's the same conclusion I always have. I'm never going to say it's a hundred percent. I don't know think, that you can without no proof, but I just believe there is something more to our reality than we understand, and I think we're getting manipulated, like on like a massive scale for thousands of years. In my opinion. What's this? Why manipulate people that way? For just to keep it under control. It's Matrix movie. Just it was a documentary. So <laughs> greedy. <laughs> What's that? Stupidity. Like what? Keep what under control? This whole this the what we call the Earth. Just if you were at the top and, and in control, wouldn't you want to keep stay on the top? Because people are greedy. Yeah, people greed. I was going to say, I think the source and, of all of these things is greed. It, and people, I mean, the Lord of the Rings, you know, a lot of movies we watch have a reference to good and evil. And the people at the top are evil and they want to keep control of it. So what's the best way to do that? These, like Caleb said, a, you know, a PSYOP started in 88. Why? If it's not real, why, why would they do that? It's to keep control. Just see, okay. We're like cattle. And so people always go to, why do you need control? Because I used to think the same thing. But then I realized, think about the way we live our lives. If you don't have some sort of control or some sort of putting your thumb down on somebody, you're not going to get them to get up early in the morning, five days a week, to go to a place that they pretty much hate, to earn the bare minimum they need to survive, to come home, and buy all the products and all the things that you that we buy to entertain ourselves, they have to keep that going. And I think we're starting to see a little bit of rebellion against that with the younger generations not working as much. And, you know, because everyone's hiring. Lots of people don't have jobs, but they could work or they work the bare minimum hours now that to survive. I think that's that's breaking up a little bit. But I think it also well, comes back to, gr to greed. Hmm. Yeah. Well, what's the what's one of the best ways to keep people in control? Is to let people think that they're actually in control. Oh of yeah. Problems. The it's to falsely yeah the illusion of control. Right. Yeah. With I've these heard people say only. that about I've heard people say that about elections. Make people yeah. think they have a choice. <laughs> yeah, you. But really these choices. Choice. I agree only with be that. These. Here's your two yeah. choices. Yeah. Either one of them is going to do whatever freedom. I want them to, but yeah. Yeah. Agreed for sure. I'm That's a good one, Greg. Yeah, uh, it's a. I'm Kayla. Please like and subscribe.